Hi guys! You guys like my new background? I'm obviously at the boy's house. Oh, I'm gonna use his shoe collection um, as the background and I mean I think it's pretty cool so but this video is going to be a collective haul of what I got in the past like few weeks. Enough with the chit chat let's get straight to it. So the first place I went was Ricky's NYC. Ricky's NYC is a beauty supply store. It's basically like the namies of New York and they have like different brands of makeup that you usually have to order online but instead of ordering online they carry it in store so you can just buy it in store and uh, cut out the shipping and handling and the delivery time so this Ricky's um, they had Gerard Cosmetics they had Morphe they had Color Rain they had Lash Splash Cosmetics they had a whole bunch of things that you uh, or a whole bunch of cosmetics that are online brands and they have no store. Oh, that's what's great about this store and that's why I love going to the store every time I visit New York. So inside this bag, I have another bag and I got this little canvas makeup bag. Not like I need any more makeup bags in my life, but it was just so cute. It says VIP, very important products. It has a little mascara wand, nail polish, and lipstick. Just had to buy it. I could not give it up. But inside, I got a Karen Xander's uh, Natural and Synthetic Fiber Sulfate Free Antibacterial Sponge and Brush Soap uh, in Mango Scent. And if uh, we had smell a vision, you, if you smell this, it smells so good. But what you do is you wet your brush and then you brush it on this little like soap. It cleans your brushes for you. Oh my god, this smells so good. It smells like mango ice cream. Next thing I got was a Gerard Cosmetic Lip Gloss. It is in Shimmer of Hope. It's the typical lip gloss with like the mirror here and then the light. I'm not going to swatch anything for you because I have not opened them. And the next thing I got is the Gerard Cosmetic Lipstick. And like the bullet is like completely wrapped and the price tag is on it. And I got this in Underground. It's such a nice color. It's a very cool tone color. Um, sort of like Max Stone. When I swatched it on my hand, it was like a nice gray purple tone so I was really into it. Last two things I got was oh yeah I got another Gerard Cosmetics oh excuse me this is the Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Aphrodite just looks like this um it's like a like an orangey more orange tone. The last thing I got from Ricky's was a Color Rain matte lip paint in the color fame it looks like this it's like a metallic liquid lipstick and i really wanted this because i really wanted the dose of color uh metallic liquid lipstick set but i ain't no ain't nobody gonna pay fucking 60 dollars for that shit and pay for shipping so that was like 70 bucks and i was like fuck and when will i always wear them i won't even wear them all the time so i paid basically 20 bucks for one of these but anyways this is like more wearable than like the trio that you had to get but yeah it just like is I can't wait to wear it and I swatched it on my hand it dried matte and then if you follow my snapchat I swatched uh Anastasia's uh liquid lipstick and candy apple uh and like it was just so amazing like they had like a uh, gold reflex in the lipstick and I had to go back and get it so that's what I did if you can see it's so beautiful there are little like gold reflexes in this liquid lipstick if not I'll take pictures and put it on my Instagram so you can see better but it's so beautiful I love it and I've seen like a lot of uh, youtubers wear it like luster luck she has a picture and it looks beautiful on her while I was in New York I also stopped by Nike lab on 21 Mercer Street and I got myself a pair of Nike Harachas and I've been wanting the white ones forever and this is what they look like I've been dying for the white ones. I tried the black ones on when I went to Las Vegas and um, at a shoe store in Las Vegas and it just looked so big on me. But then I tried the white ones at Flight Club in LA and they like were beautiful on my feet and like they're really popular now. Harachas are really in right now and I just really wanted a pair of white ones. I have a pair of red ones. I can't wait to wear them. They're so beautiful. 
but obviously you know i'm gonna like you know start on instagram first and take some pictures i went to target a few days ago i ended up getting stuff for myself and i mean it's not a lot but like i thought they were the cutest things and like i got these socks they're so cute and they're like four dollars i think they are crew socks i think they're like valentine's day socks but like these socks are so popular because um i think shop jean or nasty gal made them so popular and it just says pizza on these socks and it says you've stolen a pizza my heart like you've stolen a piece of my heart and they're just so cute and they're so funny and this one is just like a dog kiss kissing a cat and the cat thinking ew which is like every time i give the boy a kiss that's his reaction i've always wanted them but i never wanted to order from nasty gal or shop jean because you know me i cannot wait for shipping and handling and delivery and the last thing i got from target was this candle not like i need another candle but this candle is called cozy nights it's the scented soy candle the signature soy and it was on sale for nine dollars i think it's usually 13 and it smells so good. I'm not sure what Cozy Night smells like, but I just got this because YouTube made me do it, or Snapchat made me do it, because Luster Lux was snapping that she loved this candle. She ordered like two or three of them from Target, and I'm just like, oh my god. And then once I saw it, I was like, must try it. And it was on sale. But this will last me a while, so I don't go through candles that fast because I don't light them all the time and then the final place i visited was the dollar store or dollar tree and while i was there i just saw a whole bunch of stuff that i couldn't like i could not not buy because they were so cheap they were a dollar and but they were so cute the first thing is fuck my life <laughs> is another another makeup bag shit yeah i really don't need any more makeup bags but like look how cute it is it was only a dollar and it has like lipsticks on it and it has like little like barbie silhouettes on the lipstick there's like stuff inside here but like yeah it's like a little train case it like zips up it has a handle on it and like it was only a dollar so why not it's pretty big too it's so big in here but yeah i fit a whole bunch of stuff in and then i bought these uh 20 lights lights that i got from premark and my premark haul that i'll like link down below too they were battery operated so you actually had to put batteries in them and hopefully i don't have to put batteries in this and hopefully it's just like a plug i'm not sure i haven't opened it yet but yeah, after I I used those lights, those Primark lights that I got, I used it for a project. I'll insert a picture um, right in here. But it came out really cool and I really liked it. But then it just made me miss having lights, that having those lights because I wanted to use them in my room. So when I saw these for a dollar, even cheaper than the Primark lights, and it's five feet in it, so it's longer than the ones that I got from Primark. I can't wait to use these. I'm probably going to put them around my filming area or like my makeup table or I don't know, somewhere or make it creative and like, you know, take pictures with them. This e.l.f. fan brush, like I've been looking for this brush every freaking wear. I have the e.l.f. studio br fan brush which is in the black. It's all black and it's so amazing. I loved it and I got it from Target but no I haven't seen it anywhere ever again at any Target. And then when I found out that the when they made the e.l.f. brush like in this style like they're not the studio it's just their basic one for a dollar i was like oh my god i had to get it so i went everywhere i found it in a walmart in new york i mean a walmart in new hampshire so i bought one there but then like i haven't seen it anywhere else and so i went to the dollar tree and then i found a whole bunch of them there so i just had to buy another one and then i got this little mask here because i don't know for some reason i'm really into masks and like they're just so cute and makes you mysterious and like sexy i think like i got these um masks the fox masks what the fuck but i wore them to a concert but they prohibited masks so i had to give it up and it was like so depressing um but yeah this uh this is just a little masquerade mask it's so yeah, it comes like this. It looks very uh like New Orleans Mardi Gras esque type. But yeah, it's just a dollar. It's cute. I like it. The best part of it was getting these cosmetic organizers. 
and this is in a heart shape and this is in a flower shape and they were both a dollar and I was like fuck I wanted to go back and I wanted to buy like so much more but then I realized that I could not fit it all on my makeup table so it was it'll just be a waste so I only bought one heart one and two flower ones because I'm gonna put them next to each other in a row and then put all my brushes in it and then make it look all pretty but I will show you what it looks like. It's very self-explanatory, I feel like, if you know what a brush holder looks like. It's just clear. It looks like this, shape of a heart. You put brushes in it, or you can put like lipstick, makeup, whatever. Like, that's that. You put it on your table. So yeah, a wine glass, even though I don't drink wine, so I guess it will be for some Andre, some peach Andre, which I really love. Thanks Hannah for introducing me to Andre. And um, it's just like a wine glass and it had like has lips on it and some lipstick and but um, oh my camera's overheating. But anyways, so uh, that is the end of the haul. I hope you guys have a fabulous, fabulous new year and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah. So quick update, my best friend Abeo has reached her goal and actually surpassed it. Yeah! And um, but it doesn't mean that she's not continuing to fundraise even more now that she's reached her goal. So please, please, please keep donating and helping her fundraise for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. It's such a good charity. And um, the link is down below, so uh, please, please donate. And um, to make it even more interesting, she's adding challenges. So if you donate, you might, you might be rewarded with her doing something crazy. So yeah, keep donating, please. Mwah.